Greetings, 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 my YouTube family all over the world. This is your chief. This is the fourth video by Patman Senati Raja, one and only. I'm recording this at like six in the morning. Right? I don't sleep very early. Uh, we have business partners all over the world, guys. So I like communicating with them at different time zones. And um, I've been monitoring my videos. I've been monitoring... Um, uh, those of you who are subscribing, watching my videos, I hope it's adding value. And today, I want to keep it simple and keep it short. All right? Uh, as many of you know, I grew up in a small town. Like many of you on this, on this watching my video right now. And growing up in a small town, you lack the exposure. You lack the understanding. All right? I came from a very small town, guys. Called Telo Intan in Pera, Malaysia. Pera is the state... Telo Intan is the town. If you translate to English, it means Diamond Bay. But there's no diamonds. It's a small town surrounded by a river, a lot of jungles, a lot of plantations. Beautiful place to grow up. Uh, I think the only reason I'm still grounded today is thanks to the fact that I grew up in a small town. All right? With small town DNA, for whatever reason you could call it. And no matter where you are in the world, if you come from a small town, you'll relate to me. All right. For me, going to the city was a once-a-year experience. And in our town, there was nothing. There was paddy fields, you know, uh, plantations and stuff like that. And, and good friends and family, a good life. We climbed trees, we swam in the rivers, all right? We went fishing, we did all that kind of stuff. But we never understood the outside world. It's almost like we were under a coconut shell, you know, like in a cocoon. And... I, for some reason, all right, uh, I'm an observer. I like to observe things, okay? When I was a young kid, I observed that there were very few luxury cars in my town. There was like two or three Mercedes owned by a businessman, a doctor, and a lawyer, all right? And I thought to myself, I said, man, this is some serious stuff, all right? So there's a doctor who has a Mercedes, there is a lawyer who has a Mercedes and there's a businessman who has a Mercedes. And at that time, I was confused, all right? And I, I'm an ethnic um, Sri Lankan Tamil, okay? And in our culture, the only thing that is respected if you become an engineer, lawyer, doctor, accountant, no other profession. Nobody talks about going into business, becoming a business owner, CEO, no. We were programmed from young to go to school, get good grades, and hopefully get a good job. That, that was it, all right? And I realized by observing everyone around me, there were two types of people. There were people who studied hard, became a lawyer, doctor, engineer, accountant, and became successful. And there was this whole group of people who owned businesses and became successful. And at that point, I realized when I was young, I said, my God, I need to be successful. And I had these two parts, all right? And of course, my mom, being a teacher, pushed me on this part of education, good grades, get into a good university and become somebody, all right? And I eventually studied law and, and, and graduated from law school. But I realized, looking back, I made a mistake when I was young of taking that part. Because just by taking that path alone, all right, fair enough, I got an education, I have a degree which I don't use, all right, uh, I enjoyed college life, <laughs> that was a party central, okay, but if I chose the path of entrepreneurship, all right, like you guys today, kids are becoming entrepreneurs, teenagers are becoming entrepreneurs and, and doing all of that. Now, I'm not saying education is bad. I'm saying if you want to achieve tremendous success, all right? And I'll tell you what, to my definition, was tremendous success. When I was a kid, there was a series on TV uh, with a commentator called Robin Leach called The Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Now, I'm a small town village boy watching these mansions and the cars and the watches and, and all of that stuff. It blew my mind. There was such wealth out there, all right? And I realized after 
you know, leaving law school, all right, that you don't become rich as a lawyer unless you spend 10, 15, 20 years practicing law. Nobody becomes rich as a lawyer just like that. It doesn't happen. When I graduated from law school, I was offered peanuts to work in a law firm and you are required to wash the boss's car and buy lunch for everyone. That kind of pathetic job. All right? And I was lucky enough to meet my mentor and get introduced to the world of entrepreneurship at 22 years old. And I realized, and I think back, my only regret, I have no regrets in my journey of life. All right? I had an adventure of a lifetime. My only regret that I didn't understand the power of becoming an entrepreneur at a younger age. That's my only regret. I started at 22, but I could have started at 12, 14, 15, 16, doesn't matter. All right? And I realized at that point the power of entrepreneurship. So let me tell you this. If you're watching, all right, my YouTube channel, for whatever reason, referred by somebody or you guys know me as chief, all right? There is no way for you to achieve tremendous financial wealth or financial freedom where you have money and time unless you choose the path of entrepreneurship. So don't waste time. Send your kids to school, but also tell them the power of entrepreneurship. Tell them the power of be being their own boss, their own CEO. That's the most powerful concept in the freaking planet, guys. All right? And today, there is a, a broad mega spectrum, a buffet of opportunities, all right, that is going to tell you that they are a form of entrepreneurship. And I'm going to be sharing on the next episode why I chose what I believe is one of the greatest paths or journeys of entrepreneurship anyone can follow and it's sustainable and it's long-term and it's generational, all right? You don't want to build something for today and make money today. You want to build something today that will pay you for the next 50 years of your life. That is the true definition of financial freedom. So I'm telling you guys, all right, education is an experience, but it's not the answer. The answer is to become an entrepreneur. The answer to any form of wealth is to own your own business. Be your own boss. All right? Embrace uh, what's new in the world today and maximize. Now, let me warn you. The journey of entrepreneurship, and I've been on this journey for 23 years as an entrepreneur. It's been an amazing journey, but it has its challenges. It's tough. It does not give you the sense of security of a job where you go to work, come back home, 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 you get paid peanuts and you get treated like a monkey. All right? That's a path I will never go to. I'm not built for that. And I don't think anyone should be built for that. The path you should choose, in my opinion, is entrepreneurship. Now, it comes with a price. It requires commitment. It requires sacrifice. It requires hard work. But trust me, it's worth it. You can fail as many times as you want. Just never, never, never give up. And one day, you will achieve achievements that is impossible in this part of employment. Let me tell you, I have nothing against jobs. Don't get me wrong. I have nothing against people who work hard and feed their families. But I'm just telling you, if you just want to survive, then a job would work. But if you want to live life, if you want to be part of the 5% and 2%, and please don't bullshugar me and say, no, I don't need this life. I'm completely satisfied where I am. No. I think everyone is born as a dreamer. Everyone is born because they want something out of their lives. And my only message to you on this episode four is if you ever want that real life you dream about as a teenager, it's not too late. Right? People can start their entrepreneurship journey at 70, 75. Oh, I hope you start at 18. All right? I wish I started at 18 or even younger, guys. So to me, I believe that the future of the world is not about people studying hard, getting a degree, 
and getting a dream job, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, and have that perfect life. That does not exist anymore. That was my maybe my father's time, my mother's time, or my grandparents. Today, I think the world needs to understand that society is hungry, society is angry, and they want solutions, a wholesome solution to your problem. And I believe the only solution is to become an entrepreneur, to own your own business, to be the CEO of your own life. I think that's the only answer. And I think more and more people from our generation or the younger generations, the Gen Z, Gen Alpha, Centennials, Millennials, whatever, that's the part they're going to choose. And therefore, I believe this concept of education, the way it was, has to evolve or it will vanish. Because everyone will walk this path of entrepreneurship. Because the availability, the information on the internet, all right, e-commerce allows you to do business anywhere in the world. Like me, I'm sitting in Malaysia and I have business partners all over the world, guys. All right, that's the future. That's the present and it will be the future. The ultimate answer to whatever you want in life is there. I found it at 22. I hope you find it. It's called entrepreneurship. It's the only answer.